Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 6th of February and this time I'm bringing you some news regarding Dying Light and it might be a little bit surprising given some of the kerfuffles surrounding that particular title in the recent uh, weeks. But um, basically Techland are actually working on free and quote extensive modding tools for the title. And according to them, Dying Light and its sandbox gameplay is a quote perfect material for modding. And they're also working on tools in order to give players creative freedom to create fresh and interesting content. And they're even going so far as to invite people to their official discussion board to share mod ideas with the team. And yes, there will be a link to that particular board in the description below this video. And Techland, Techland excuse me, went on to say, quote, Modders were a massive part of our gaming community since Call of Juarez 2 and Dead Island, and we wish to continue it with Dying Nights. This invitation is only the first stage of our cooperation with the gaming community. After the modding tools are released, we plan to actively support the coolest mods created by players. Now, as I alluded to at the start of the video, this seems a bit odd, given that, well, there was actually an issue that reared its ugly head not that long ago when a patch released by Techland to cold cheating um, actually mistakenly hindered mod makers and then worse than that there were basically DMCA claims that were apparently issued by Techland to any dying light modders in order to get fairly harmless mods removed. Now Techland said this shouldn't have occurred and the ESA, that's the Entertainment Software Association, agreed and even went on to say that the takedowns were issued by a third party vendor, not the ESA or even Warner Brothers and of course not even Techland themselves. So basically that whole kerfuffle, it wasn't Techland, it wasn't Warner, it was somebody else issuing the DMC claims to those mods to take it down the film grain and what have you. So all of that has been resolved as ESA have actually apologised for the inconvenience and retractions were of course issued immediately and even promised to avoid that situation in the future. And after apologising for that, Techland have now of course extended a further olive branch in basically showing that yes, they will be supporting modders. That anti-cheating patch wasn't actually intended to catch modders in the net. And of course that coupled with the DMCA claims issued by somebody else made it look like they were really going anti-mods. But of course it wasn't them doing the DMCA and it seems like it was a mistake with the patch that actually hindered mods on Steam. So there you have it. As I said, the link to the discussion board is in the description below this video. So, much better, much, much better from Techland. Obviously it wasn't them before, so obviously, but still good show of attitude and a good on them for actually giving people the tools there's one thing to say go ahead and mod and there's no one to actually well give people a helping hand and they're definitely showing that they're putting their money where their mouth is and saying that yes we supported modders before we will do now and obviously that's very important for them to do that given the whole thing with regarding the dmc claims it's very important for them to show that they mean what they say and that they're going to be supporting mods and that is obviously what they're doing here with these extensive modding tools Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching.